So the second job we're going to do is the aluminium. So we need to toggle the machine onto AC. Uh, we won't use the pulse this time. And then if we just run through the features, pre-flow, upslope, 40 amps, we'll increase that. And about 60. Down slope, won't bother with. Pulse gas again, about three seconds. Uh, additional features we get here is AC, AC balance. Set that around about 25% cleaning. And then we've got AC frequency over on the other side here. Select that and I'm going to wind that up to about 9500 so it will be switching between cleaning and heating at fairly high speed and we'll give that a go. Uh, the part we've got uh, is going to fit inside a tube so we want to keep this square flange so the welds are going to be on the inside. We've got this piece on here at the moment just to clamp it in place. Um, what I want to do, I've drilled some holes here is we're going to make some spot welds through the top plate first then we can take off the clamping place and uh, put some fillet weld on the, in the inside once these are just spot welded in place. So I've drilled a two millimeter hole in the top faces and we'll just uh, run the arc over there for a few seconds just to penetrate through and fuse to the bottom flange. So we were going to show you the welding of the aluminium bracket, but uh, well actually when we filmed it, we realized you couldn't actually see the, uh, the welding inside the bracket. Uh, so we're going to do a small test piece here along the top edge of this um, two and a half mil uh, aluminium plate. Uh, we'll run a bead uh, straight AC, 50 hertz, 50 cycles a second. Then 50 hertz again, but with the pulse switched on and we're going to use a quite a low frequency pulse uh, switching about two times a second and that will have uh, the effect of reducing the heat input and giving us a lot more control and then we're going to uh, switch the pulse off and increase the AC frequency which have the effect of tightening the arc and increasing the weld speed as well. So you can see the different effects and how you can use those to balance the heat input and the uh, weld profile uh, with this machine. So on our first setup, we're going to use an AC frequency of 50 hertz, which is actually the lowest on, on the machine, uh, 50 hertz. The main welding current is about 43 amps. So it's straight AC. Uh, at 50 hertz. So we're going to switch the pulse on now. Uh, we'll toggle through. So I've got a background current of 21 amps, main current of 20 amps, uh, pulse frequency of 4 hertz, so 4.3 hertz. Uh, and 32% of the time it's going to be at the peak current, so most of the time it'll be sat in a, a cooler position. 50 hertz with a slow pulse. So very much a heating cooling effect we get there. Time for the material to solidify. On this final weld, we've increased the frequency to 100 hertz. You can see my travel speed's gone up again, but I have got a much tighter arc.
So this is the 50 hertz welding close up. You can see the bead is lipping over the edge of the plate and effectively melting down the side of the plate slightly. So you've got quite a lot of heat spread there. You have got a quite smooth surface finish and a little bit of fish scaling, but you see the heat sinking into the plate and really rounding off uh, the, the, the top edge there. And then the final weld here. So this was run at 100 hertz, so twice as fast switching frequency as the first weld. Very much the same uh, appearance, uh, quite, quite a bit of heat starting to melt down the, the side of the plate, but the travel speed was significantly improved. So if you're an experienced welder and you want to improve productivity, increasing the uh, AC frequency, has the effect of pulling in the arc, tightening up the arc, focusing it a little bit more, increasing the heat input and allowing you to weld faster.